In this video episode, I'm going to discuss on how to connect the two-wire magnetic reed switch or sensor for our electro-pneumatic activities. These two-wire magnetic reed switches are commonly used as limit switch for pneumatic cylinders positioning system, for extend or retract positions. And with color-coded wires, brown, and blue wires. Let's take a look at the items that we're going to use for this video tutorial. See, we have these magnetic reed switches attached to our double-acting pneumatic cylinder. 24 volt DC coil control relays that will act as our circuit load and a 24 volt DC power supply. All items used needs a 24 volt supply voltage. This is the schematic diagram to be used in installing the two wire magnetic reed switch. Here's the reed sensor and the relay coil. Since the reed sensor's wire are color coded, brown is always connected to the positive voltage supply and blue at negative voltage supply area. However, the reed's terminal wire should not be connected across the supply voltage. It is a common mistake for beginners when they conduct a pre-testing procedure. Instead, the magnetic reed sensor must be connected along or in series with the load or control relay. When connecting the 24 volt DC coil control relay, take a look at the terminal polarities. Number 14 for positive and number 13 for negative. Or you may watch this control relay tutorial video for your reference. As per installation, we will connect the two magnetic reed switches for extend and retract cylinder positions. Let's install. Here's our trainer module. In wiring connection procedures, just follow the schematic diagram provided a while ago. This is the circuit breaker for our 24 volt DC power supply. First, control line 1, connect the brown wire from reed switch directly to line 1, positive. Put blue wire to number 14 of the control relay. Put a wire at number 13 to be connected to line 2, negative. And last, control line 2. Same wiring procedures will be made. Since we're done with the installation, let's do the testing procedures. Put the cylinder in a halfway position to visibly check if our reed switches work. Switch on the circuit breaker, gradually retract the shaft to activate the reed sensor for retract limit position. And gradually extend to activate the reed sensor for extend limit position. So, that's all on how to wire our two-wire magnetic reed switch or sensor. If you find this video interesting and useful to others, you may consider subscribing, like and share and hit the notification bell for more updates to come. And follow us at Facebook, Facebook page, Warden's Corner. See you on next video tutorials on how to connect and test the three-wire magnetic reed switch or sensor. Have a nice day ahead. Thank you and goodbye.